we have a question from Insta, uh, Mr. Mills4. Hi, Felicia. I was watching some of your reels and was inspired to ask you what you thought. I find I have a hard time slowing down to paint. I feel like we watch all of these time-lapse videos and it makes me feel rushed. Like I should be able to finish a painting effortlessly in no time. I'm trying to distance myself from this, but I watch these videos because I'm fascinated to see other artists' processes, uh, but I think it's also de detrimental to my process. What do you think? I think that I can totally relate with that and that when I was starting, I also had assumptions. Now, there weren't time-lapse videos of paintings that I recall when I was learning to paint, but um, there was the look of a painting, right? If it was expressive with brushstrokes or thick paint, I assumed that they were donning a beret and a glass of wine and a baguette and they were going like this with their paintbrush. Like I had all these assumptions. So I think no matter what uh, is giving you these assumptions, they're natural to have when you're learning to paint. There's a point in your own development where you kind of slow down and decide what's important to you. You decide what aspects, skills you need, what qualities you want in your work, and that you then figure out how to get them and then you sit down to it, uh, nose to the grindstone until you figure it out. For me, that was, I was really impatient. And so I would jump ahead of my drawing to get to finish and juicy sexy details and then I'd have like a beautifully drawn eye a half an inch too much to the right and that sucks. Now let's say I was doing a demo, a three hour painting from life, a portrait or still life. I spend, no joke, one third, a whole hour of the three hours just on the drawing stage because for me I know that if I have that set then I'm not going to have to waste time later fixing problems. Um, so in summation, these assumptions and stresses and disappointments in ourself for not being able to live up to things that we think are real in the world are a natural part of development. And they only get solved when you start taking responsibility for what you want and how to get it and you develop your own process. And when you do that, you'll know it's right for you and it won't really matter what everyone else is. One last quick thought is that some painters might be painting faster because what they're doing is formulaic, kind of like a shtick. Uh, not to say that's good or bad, but if you're exploring, it might be slower. 